Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to my channel. Today I have my weekly Woolworth shopping haul to share with you. This is for our family of three, my husband, myself, our 14 year old son, and we have two German Shepherds. It is Tuesday the 26th of March. It is the week before Easter. It's the last week of term, uh, last proper day of school tomorrow, Wednesday for Kale, and then Thursday they have their sports carnival. Then uh, Friday is Good Friday. My husband is also going to be away until Sunday and Kayla and I have market Saturday and Sunday. So busy week, unusual week. And yeah, we've got lots of like naughty, chalky things here. But um, hubby has also got corporate um, barefoot bowls tomorrow night. So he won't be home for tea. I'm going to put the silver side from last week in the slow cooker shortly for tea tonight. So, and then we've got cold meat and things. So it's kind of, this is a top up shop or a halfway shop, but because I've got some extra things, I'm kind of glad because otherwise it would have been too expensive. So let's uh, see what we've got. Uh, piece of ham, because even though it's school holidays, we will still have that. Um, that was $14.96. Um, I haven't got the grams on here because it's actually come off, but that I only wanted a smaller piece this week. So it's $22 a kilo, um, but yeah, that'll be my lunches, Kale's lunches. Um, and then obviously school holidays as well, because in the middle of the school holidays, he's going away on camp, but he'll be able to look after himself for a couple of days before that. Uh, the dogs, now Axel, he's our oldest, he's five and a half. Uh, he has the Nature's Goodness Grain Free. These are 2.15 kilos. He has these with the Black Hawk Bickies and uh, that was $7.20 for the roast meat and sweet potato. And because he doesn't have any left in the fridge, I had to buy two. So I got the other flavour as well, which was roast turkey and steamed vegetables. So, and that was $7.20 as well. Then Bella is our puppy. She is five and a half months old and she has the growing cup, growing pup with mints, some natural yogurt and the black hawk bickies with a bit of a water. Um, we always put a little bit of water in with the dog bickies, um, only a tiny bit, but it makes them not as dry when they're eating them. Uh, and it does sort of help, help for her as well with learning how to eat and gobbling things and stuff like that. They're not dry in her throat. So uh, we've got two of those. They were $4 each, so that was $8 for those. Now I needed to get some mixed veggies. Um, I use these in all sorts of things, just when you want to add some extra veggies. We had some goat last week. Did I tell you I had some goat? I can't remember. So, okay, story time. It was Tuesday. It may have been before or after I did the shop last week. So I'll just give you a bit of a rundown. Hubby came home from work with um, some diced goat. It was cut into pieces about this big. Um, so what I did was I didn't have mushrooms in the house. So I made a stroganoff-ish recipe. We still with bacon, onion, tomatoes and the um, Russian for dinner spice blend, the flavorista one, but had no mushrooms. So once we'd had it for the first night um, with rice, then we had some with pasta, and then the last bit that was left over, I put some of these veggies with it, and we had it with um, mashed potato and sweet potato mixed together. So it kind of lasted us for a few meals, and that's another reason why I've still got stuff left from last week, uh, but I did need some more veggies. So they were $2. Now that's just the Woolworths snap frozen it's carrots zucchini potatoes green beans and corn but it's a good little mix of veggies just to throw in with things so they were two dollars um i needed some milk because i'm going to do cauliflower cheese to go with our suicide tonight i thought i'd get the three liters so we had that little bit extra it was six dollars fifty i just got one lot of yogurt this week there's still a little bit left over and like i said the hubby's only home for another couple of nights really um then he's away, he's back Sunday, and then we've only really got a day until shopping day. So I just got the Yoplait protein yogurt today for $6.75. I did get two lots of the whipping cream, the Browns whipping cream, because like I said, I've got markets Saturday and Sunday. So I'll probably do two, two chocolate mousses out of one for Saturday and two different flavours for the one on Sunday, just in case I have sort of different, um, the same customers come to both markets. 
So they were three dollars and five cents each. The natural yogurt, uh, like I said, Bella has a tablespoon in with her nightly meal, but I also um, eat it as well. So I just get two, and whoever eats it, eats it. It's a dollar ninety each for those. So that was three dollars eighty. And then the sour cream, because I will also do savoury dip samples for the weekend. So I will do um, two different dips for Saturday and two different dips for Sunday. And so they were three dollars twenty each, six dollars forty. Now, while I'm talking about my little side hustle, uh, story time again. So I am a bit chatty. My side hustle is Flavorista. It's an Australian company. They have certified gluten-free and nut-free spice blends, chocolate powders, dessert sauces, toppings, flavored salts, nut-free dookers, flavored oils and balsamics. It's like so many different goodies. I sell them at my local market. And for the last, I've been with the company for six years since they launched. So it's a market business. So markets, but you can do it online and from home and, and things like that as well. I choose to do markets because uh, I was always working full time. Now that I'm not working full time, I might start doing some in-home tastings and things. I have been doing online tastings. My last one was um, over east in New South Wales, but I could do it from home. Um now, they have each year for the last five years, this is the fifth year, they do an incentive trip every year. And I have qualified for the fifth year in a row. The first year was to the southeast um, Queensland, to the Granite Belt. Uh, and I missed out on that one because the world of COVID shut down 24 hours after I was due to fly out. But thankfully... Um, the lady that owned the company rang me and said I was flying the furthest, so they made a decision to cancel the event uh, as I was going. So the following year was at the same place, at Stanthorpe, which is southeast Queensland, and I had just started a new job, literally like a week or two after I started my job was the incentive trip, so I decided not to go. Um, the following year was to Hamilton Island. I had some medical issues and uh, was possibly requiring surgery, so I chose not to go. So each time we got a, a cash bonus, which was great. Last year was to Tasmania, and I went to that one, and I had a great time. So I did a vlog that's on my um, YouTube channel, just showing you a little bit about it. It was such a fantastic trip. They announced at our annual celebrations in August that this year's incentive trip was going to be to Queenstown in New Zealand. Now, last night, I have qualified. So I am very, very excited. It is my first trip international as an adult. I last travelled when I was about two overseas and my first solo trip as well. So I'm a little bit, a little bit frightened about that. But I'm going to be sorting out my passport shortly. Um, I'm just, I'm full of all the emotions today because it is starting to sink in it is finally real and I just can't believe it I'm just so excited so I needed to share that little tidbit with you I've gone off on a tangent I'm sorry I've done that a couple of times already but um yeah I'm just so excited so there will be a, obviously a vlog coming up when I get to go so it'll be June so New Zealand in June might be a tad chilly but um I don't care it's going to be amazing so Keep an eye out for June because that one will follow if you're interested in following along on the journey with me. Um, back to what I bought this week. So a block of Parmesan cheese. This is Australian Parmesan cheese and I haven't seen this in a block before. I usually buy the um, shaved one. But this obviously works out cheaper because it's the block. But I thought I would try it because then I can shave it or grate it or do whatever I want with it. Um, $6.50 for 200 grams. So we'll give that a whirl. Kale's milk this week. Um, yes, someone was right last week. They uh, do discontinue them when they um, put them out on clearance. And all those flavours are gone in the shelf and it's all filled with iced coffee. So Kale won't drink iced coffee. So I've just gone back to his master's strawberry. This is just the 300 mils and he will like that anyway. Um, shredded cheese, because like I said, I've still got block cheese, but I've got that cauliflower cheese to do tonight. Um, Kale's having a haircut at quarter past four. Four, so it'll be a quick tea when we get home. I'll have to throw it in the oven quickly. Um, and then um, tonight or tomorrow, we'll also be registering him for AJ25. 
which um oh, story time again look at me go australian jamboree 2025 is in queensland obviously in january 2025 uh, registrations closed this week and Kale wants to go so we are going to register him online shortly um, once he's had a haircut because he's been a little bit uh, moppy because he has uh, very curly hair so we're gonna give him a haircut do some pictures and do his registration in the next couple of days so I'll need to get home and cook tea quickly so I imagine we won't be home till five o'clock so that's that one. Now, beef mince, like I said, Bella has this one, but so do we. I just got two because I think I've got some left and that should get us both through. They're just a 500 gram beef mince for $6.50. So there's two of those. Um, Kale needed some more jocks. And when I was in Woolies, they had them on special. I think they were 40% off. Um, actually, what were they? They were uh, $15.99 marked down to $10.20. So yeah, so about that. Um, they're just a 14 to 16, just the little trunks, a three pack. So that will um, keep him going. Now, obviously, he's going away next week to a camp as well. So we need to make sure he's going to have enough clothes with him. So we've got those. Um, the Pulse Whitening Toothbrush Heads. I did talk to you about these the other day. They are normally $30 for a pack of four. And I saw them marked down to nine. Uh, actually it might not have been last week it might have been the week before um and i found them again this week the reason why the pulse toothbrush uh is actually on clearance so they must be going to bring out another one but these heads do fit the one that i've got as well because i did try them so why pay 30 dollars when you can pay nine so i've stashed some more in the cupboard the only difference is my handle is white these heads are black but that doesn't bother me when it's a saving of that much money. So I've just got another packet of them to stick in the cupboard. But if you don't um, currently use an electric toothbrush or um, one of these and you're looking for one, then um, I reckon they were marked down to like $24 or something like that. And there were things we connect them to apps and all sorts of stuff. So uh, if you're on the lookout for one, check them out in Woolies. Now, Hubby yesterday bought himself a mini drone. And he asked me to pick up uh, like a memory card for it, like a little SD card, a little micro, which is this size. We've got lots of adapters, but I think nowadays they just come with them. So I got this one for him. It's 32 gig. It might not be big enough, but in Woolies, that's all they had. So I'll talk to him when he comes home for lunch shortly. And if that's not big enough, I'll just grab one in the post office this afternoon when I take Kale down to have his haircut. So that was $25. So... Uh, between that and Kale's jocks and Easter eggs, like I've well and truly spent my budget this week, even though I haven't got a lot of stuff. So, um, but that's all good. The Cheerios, Kale's still got some left from the other day. He hasn't opened the Nutri-Grain yet, but they were half price. So I grabbed one when I saw them. 450 grams at $3.75. The Swept Street, now these were on special, but I got this... Um, because I just wanted to stick it in the fridge. I thought maybe over the weekend, and our hubby's not going to be home, but maybe just a refreshing drink in the fridge or have it with a bit of vodka, something like that. It's a 1.1 litre lemon and lime for $1.50. And then I saw these Jumpies and Friends uh, baked crackers. They're a salt and vinegar. Um, Kale quite likes salt and vinegar, so I thought I'd just get these, have a try. They were $2. I needed some whole egg mayo because um, that's what I mix with sour cream when I make my dips for the market. And the egg mayonnaise today that was on special was this one. Heinz original mayonnaise are made with free range egg, the little squeezy bottles, but they were half price. They were $2.75. So it was the cheapest way to buy it, so I bought two. And for my lunch, I just got the little tuna and dijonaise. Um, it just comes in a little container, but I can just stick some crackers in my bag for lunch. They're $2, so they're still, um, I think they might be clearing these ones out as well, but um, it's a good little thing just to pack in my lunch bag. <coughs> Excuse me. The Always Fresh Kalamata Olives are my preference over the Spanish ones. Hubby doesn't really care, but these were on special, so I grabbed them. They were $4 for 220 grams. And then the potato chips, the kettle potato chips, because Kayla and I will have a few nights on our own this weekend, we might watch a movie or 
have some relaxation after our markets. We'll see how we go. So I just thought we could have them as a snack, even if we're just sitting down and doing a jigsaw puzzle or something like that. They were, were they half price? I got a feeling they might be because I know chips are ridiculously expensive now, but they were $3.25 for 165 grams. So we got those. And then I'll move around the other side of the camera because then we get on to like all the naughty things that I don't normally buy. Now, I did get Kale some marshmallows the other day, some Easter marshmallows. He's eaten them all. So we've got Easter this weekend. So I just grabbed him some more, uh, 300 grams for $3.50. And then um, he's 14. We kind of don't do the old all the Easter egg, egg hunt thing, but I still always buy him something. So I got him the caramel egg because he's a caramel nut. That was $8 for 153 grams, which is ridiculous. Easter eggs are so expensive. So I just got him a couple of little things, but I got him that one. Oh, yeah, I've, I've missed these. I got these for my lunch bag as well. The Tocchetti olive and onion, they're on special for $2 at the moment, but they don't seem to be other flavours. These seem to be the only ones. They used to have a few. So we just got those. Um... Now the Bilby, the Daryl Lee Bilby, they were half priced today. So I got one of them so Kale can give that to Hubby when he gets back on Sunday for Easter. But that was half priced and it was $4.25. It's literally 100 grams. Like, it's just madness. I can't believe how small Easter eggs have got this year and how dear they are. Um, so I got those and he loves Turkish Delight. So I got these for Kale to give him as well. There, there's the Cadbury Turkish Delight, 117 grams. They were $3.30. Now, all the Easter eggs were on special this week. So I dread to think what their full price might be. Uh, but Kale's other ones, I got him the Kit Kat mini eggs. They were $4. And I also got him some more caramel mini eggs because I didn't get him any normal chocolate this week. So I just grabbed an extra packet of these for $3.30. And I'm a bit partial because I grew up with these. These were a special treat for me. The Pascal clinkers with the different colours in them. I haven't had these for, I couldn't tell you how long. I couldn't remember the last time I had them. And so I bought these. They were on special for $3 for the bag. So that'll be my little Easter treat. So we'll have those. I did get some more eggs because I've been doing some hard-boiled eggs um, and I have had, we've had friends giving us eggs and things as well. So I haven't needed to buy any, um, but I'm down to my last few. So I just got the Australian large, um, 12 free range eggs. They were $5.20, but there wasn't a lot of selection today. Um, the roads, no, I'm sure you guys have seen the news. The, the only highway between WA and the rest of the country has been cut several times over the last few weeks. Firstly, it was um, smoke from fires and then the fire did actually cross the road. Then there has been um, the tail end of those cyclones up north have come through and there's been flooding all through that part of the country. And so the railway line is still closed for about another week. Uh, the road has reopened, but last week there was a cycle race between WA and Adelaide, I think. Perth and Adelaide, I'm not 100% sure. There were two cyclists in separate incidents about 400 k's apart um, that were actually hit by trucks and one of them died. So they actually had to close the highway again. Um, so there's been, that's another reason why I've only got one yogurt. There's been you no know, yogurt. Um, spaghetti is pretty much um, nothing left on the shelf this week. There's a few packets of some of the more expensive stuff. Um, and some other things on the shelf, there's just nothing. So you can tell which items have been, like the warehouses in Perth have been depleted because there's just no stock. So um, we're just doing the best we can with what we've got. We're kind of used to that here where we are, um, you know, making do with what we can find. Uh, but yeah, I don't know when those roads are going to open again. So we'll just make do with um, what we can find. Cogs are then took cucumbers this week. These are just the normal ones. These aren't the bunch ones. They are huge. They are enormous. I can barely put my fingers around two of them. They were $2.90 each, so I grabbed two because uh, the lettuces went flat. And for salads, I'll probably just do... I've got some tomatoes left. I'll do tomato, cucumber. I've got some silver side. I've got some hard-boiled eggs. 
do some cheese and maybe canned beans or something like that and make a salad like that this week for myself and my husband. So we got those. Kale's got cutes, so he's got some for the next couple of days at school. Uh, 250 grams, so $4. I got him some snow peas. 250 grams, they were $6.90. Crumpets were half price this week, so even though we've got hot cross buns, obviously, for this week, but they were half price. So I grabbed two packets at $2.20 and I'll stick them in the freezer. It is working for me putting them in the freezer. I just take them out the night before that we might have them for breakfast, pop them in the, well, I take them out of the freezer, pop them in the fridge, and by the next morning, they're good to go. So that's what I've been doing for crumpet wise, and it's really working. Hot cross buns, um, they don't bake many locally anymore. I know they're having staff issues as well, which is possibly the reason why. But these all come frozen. These packets are still even cold um, as I put them into my trolley. So I don't know what they'll like. I liked the baked ones that we used to get. So I got two packets of these um, traditional fruit. They're on special for two for $6 today, so I got those. But these ones were baked in the store. You can tell by the labels of what they've got on them. These are actually the Indulgent Brioche Fruit Hot Cross Buns, a six pack. So I snuck one of those in so we've got some fresh ones. They were $4.50. And lastly, I've got fruit toast for kale because even though we've got hot cross buns, he was still mung into the fruit toast. Um, the other varieties, there was very few on the shelf, so I just got the Woolworths one. That was 560 grams, $3.30. So that was my shopping. It's certainly a very higgledy-piggledy mix of stuff today. Um, it's certainly not the healthiest, um, but like I said, we've got some stuff left. We're just going to make do, and then once hubby's back next week, I will probably go ahead and get another box of fruit and veg um, from the fruit and veg shop. I just didn't want to do that and have just Kayo and I home for like nearly a week, but um, yeah, we'll see how we go. So that's what we've got, but I did spend a total of $238.86 today, which is ridiculous considering what I've got and what I don't have that I normally buy. Um, but my savings, because I made sure the eggs, were, the Easter stuff was all on special and I did like only try and get stuff that was on special today, I've saved $71.15. So that puts this table worth pre-sale at over $300, which is just crazy. Um, so that's what we've got. My other windfall this week was that I know Easter eggs had huge extra points on them this week regarding Woolworths rewards. Other things did too, and I think I got um, 10 times points as a bonus this week because I earned a total of 3,500 points. So I've actually banked today an extra $20 for Christmas. So my Christmas dollars now are sitting at 110 which is going to cover about half a week's worth of shopping. But bear in mind, we haven't got to the end of March yet. So I'm hoping that I'll still be able to cover a couple of weeks of groceries when we get into December, which will be awesome. So that's what I've got to share with you today. Um, short and sweet, but I've had a bit of a chatter halfway through, so it has gone on a little bit longer. Um, I wish you and your families all the very best for Easter if you're sharing it with your loved ones. If you are travelling, please, please, please be extremely careful on the road. The roads are so busy this time of the year. Um, we're in a holiday destination, so people tend to flock to us, uh, which is why I'm glad I'm doing my shopping on Tuesday morning because even then it was a real struggle to get in and out today. Um, but the next few days, because it's school holidays, it's Easter, um, there's just going to be a barrage of people coming into town. Um, so if you are travelling, please, please be careful. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to share with you today. I'm sort of, my head's all over the place. I need to go and sort out this passport. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I can't wait to take you with me and show you and... Um, yeah, what an experience that's going to be. I have four days based out of Queenstown in New Zealand. It's going to be spectacular. 
So until next time, I need to go and put this away, make my hubby sell a blunt because he will be home soon. So I hope you're having a great week. Enjoy your school holidays. Enjoy your time with your families for Easter. Make sure you overindulge in chocolate and hot cross buns because that's what we do this weekend. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.